2013. Overbought NASDAQ composite. It's not as overbought as it was up here at the highs when we hit that area, but we're still in an overbought territory. NASDAQ has been the best performer in calendar 2013 in our view. And large cap NASDAQ stocks and high beta internet stocks and all the high flyers is what's pushed this up here. What we are saying right now at this particular area is we're going to tell you that there is a pullback coming. Once this pullback is over and we will set up again for another big rally. Well, here was the last pullback on the composite. Composite has done very well to get up here to the high, believe it or not, of 39.66. When I shorted the NASDAQ composite back in year 2000, March or so, whatever it was, we were hitting 5,048. And based on that 13 year period, I never thought the Dow would ever, or I mean, not the Dow, the Dow was another one that ran, but this NASDAQ composite would never hit that 5,400 again. Well, I can tell you it would take an act of Congress to be able to do that. That means the economy would have to grow, not at 2%. And that equities would go a lot higher in 2014. It is possible that we can break back higher than what we have, much higher, if we can grow the economy. But you have to grow the economy and earnings have to get better. The last quarterly report is not that great across the board in our view. And that the easy money has been made already again in 2013. There will be a pullback. There is in every single bull. We're going to set up a new calendar year. So we're saying that the NASDAQ composite will have a pullback just like we did before. Not only that, we'll be looking at other indexes and we've covered it. So we're going to be looking at support down here. It'll be right around where these last lows were. That would, we would call that a double bottom that was put on 10.9 on, on right here. And that's 36.50. So we're going to watch and see what will happen roughly right around 38.19 right here for the first part of the pullback. Remember, you get pullbacks and you bounce. You get pullbacks and you bounce, MMTs. So right here at this 3,800 level is where we're going to see what this uh, NASDAQ composite is made of. Year in profit taking. The bigger money will be selling into these high flyers. I'll give you an example. Netflix being one. Look, big sell. And that's NASDAQ component. Here, AAPL, Apple. Big sell down right here. Here, let's take a look at LinkedIn, LNKD. These were the names that moved this composite all the way up there. Look at from 254 all the way back down here to 219. Look at these kinds of corrections that are happening here. Here, high flyer Google. Let's take a look at Google. Google's way up here from its earnings gap. It's overbought. It's coming down too. And it outperformed because of the earnings. We're in the earnings season still. Let's take a look at Priceline, PCLN. These are the stocks that have driven this thing to all-time highs. Let's take a look at that high. That high was 1098. Let's take a look at the low there at the 20-day moving average at 1044. That's a $50 drop already in this big one. Here, MasterCard. Extremely overbought. It's not a NASDAQ component, but one of the things that we can say is within the actual S&P 500 and whatnot, this one's coming down as well related to that index. Another high flyer that you would like to know about is the following. Tesla, high flyer, got up to 194. We got short on that first pullback to the 100-day moving average at 173 and got out. Or it was 163 at that time, I'm sorry. Um, since then, we rallied up and every rally has failed in Tesla. Tesla was a big stock that moved that NASDAQ component, okay, in this calendar year. Facebook is another player 
that moved up toward the highs over here, 54, came down and tested its 100-day moving average on its earnings report. Facebook was a contributing factor. As far as what? As far as the NYSE goes and, and whatnot. So, look at In the NASDAQ component, its peer group, Stocks with four-digit letters that are overbought are pulling back. Let's take a look at this one. Baidu made a very good high during its quarterly earnings here just last week, but sold straight down. It's finally, finally been performing very well in the NASDAQ, but once again, all of these high flyers that get overbought pull back. They pull back good, and this one here is going to pull back. All of your leading NASDAQ component overbought stocks are coming down to set up new rallies again. Go to stockmarketfunding.com. There you will find from various other periods that we have archived that we had called for stocks to go down. You can go in here. You'll find out things that we were talking about and the dates and whatnot about what stocks would do and indexes would do. Um, we've had the earnings season. You've had a lot of volatility come back into play. That bull is still strong, stronger than strong. Um, one of the things that you can do is go to trading videos here. You can go to stock index videos and click on it. Here you'll find where the archives are. All the other previous times that we talked about. Uh, S&P and different things that were happening and how corrections were going to take place. So one of the things that we would like to tell you is to go to trading tab, click on free trial, get started today right there. Click on that. Not only that, you can call us today. 702-685-0772. Need trading capital? We're willing to give you money to trade with. So one of the things that we invite you to open in an account with us. Go over open the account page. Click on open the account tab. There you'll get very familiar. We'll give you money to trade with. We will give you money to trade with and we'll give you training if you want it. That's optional. Okay. So we have a lot to offer. One of the things that we're offering now is by looking at the NASDAQ chain, the NASDAQ component, and you can see here even Sina, which was a contributing factor up here, it too has pulled back. But nonetheless, that NASDAQ component has had some of the biggest movers and the most big rallies that we have seen in a number of years in calendar 2013. There are other ones that I could go through. I mean, the list is long in the NASDAQ 100. One of the things that we would take a look at is a biotech stock sell gene. It, it pumped that NASDAQ all the way up there. And it likes to have great pullbacks and corrections. And we're already in it. Here, let's take a look at BIIB. BIIB. Boy, what a big move that was. Every dip we bought all year, we pull back, but it's in the NASDAQ index. And it's these stocks through 2013 that have done that index of the world of wonders. I could go on and on and on MMMTs, but the thing about it is it's time to take profits. It's time to look at the new year. There are going to be a lot of headlines that are going to be coming out. There's a lot of money on the sideline that's going to look at how to get in on these dips. So, once again, the NASDAQ component that I just covered in the video here is that it's going to have a pullback. And the stocks that trade in it, as I've already said, they're going to be the ones that pull it back. So, once again, beware that every bull run, as I've always said, has to have a pullback to set up for the next bull rally. Right now, we are going to have a period of time that we're going to have pullbacks in these names and they're going to get set up for big moves.